So I recently picked up an Amazon Fire tablet. Now, this is not the best tablet out on the market, but I thought this would be the perfect platform to make it my mobile media station. And as you can see, I do have Kodi installed on this tablet, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And I actually picked up two of them because they're on sale for $50. Now I will place a link down below if you wanna check the current price. And this is using Android. Now normally for Android devices, all you have to do is go into the Google Play Store and download Kodi. However, with Amazon products, they do disable the Google Play Store. Now there are ways that you can add the Google Play Store to this tablet, but that takes a few extra steps and I kind of want to avoid that for this video. What I want to show you in this video is just the most basic, simple method of how to install Kodi onto your Fire tablet. Okay, so here's the home screen of your Fire tablet. Now the first thing you want to do is pull down from the top and it's going to reveal additional menus. Now once you do that, you want to click on that gear icon, which is our settings. Next, you want to go down and find device options then scroll down and click developer options. From here, you want to enable ADB debugging. It's gonna have you confirm and just go ahead and enable it. From here, you could go back, back again, and you wanna go down and find security. And once you're in this menu, you want to enable apps from unknown sources. This is gonna allow you to install third-party software onto your Fire tablet. And once that's enabled, you can go back to the home screen and what you want to do here is open up the Silk browser. Then you want to direct yourself to kodi.tv slash download. This is the official Kodi download page. And once you're on the official page, you can scroll down and find your operating system. So in this case, it is Android. So click on Android. Then you wanna select which version of Kodi you want to download. So for the Fire tablet, what we wanna select is ARMv7A 32-bit. That's the version that we need to click. And once you click it, you should see a download box appear on the screen. It's just gonna have you confirm that you are downloading a third-party software. So go ahead and click OK. And if you do want to check the progress of the download, you can swipe down from the top of the screen and you should see that status bar. So once Kodi is finished downloading, it's going to take you to the install page. Now, as you can see on the bottom right of the screen, the install option is grayed out. Now, if this happens to you, all you have to do is turn off the screen and turn it back on. Once you turn the screen back on, you should see that the install is now orange. If it is, go ahead and click it and install Kodi onto the Fire tablet. And when the install is complete, you could go ahead and open up Kodi. All right, and this is the first run of Kodi. It's gonna give us the default settings. Uh, there's not much that you can do with Kodi by itself. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install my favorite build, Durex. So let's first go up top to the gear icons and go into our settings. From here, you wanna select system settings and you want to click on add-ons. From there, be sure to enable unknown sources. Again, this is gonna allow us to install third-party software, so just confirm yes. Then you wanna move back to the previous screen. Now you could do that by swiping up on the screen and clicking back. From here, you want to move down into File Manager, click on Add Source, then click on None. And you want to enter in this URL, http colon double slash directv.xyz slash wiz. Once you have that entered in, you could press OK. Then you want to move down and click where it says wiz. This is going to nickname your media source. So I'm just going to nickname this media source Durex. Then you could click OK. And when you're ready, we can move back to the home screen of Kodi. Now you wanna move down and click on add-ons. Once you're in this add-ons menu, you wanna move up and click on the box icon. And then select install from zip file. From here, select Durex. Then choose the plugin.program zip file. 
So at this point, it may take several minutes before you see anything, but what you're looking for is notifications on the top right of the screen letting you know that Durex has been installed. And it should auto launch the wizard. So if you get this message box, just click dismiss. And it'll give you some options for settings. Now I just keep this default and click on continue. Then you want to select build menu. Then you want to choose one of the Krypton builds. Now I normally just select the first server, but if you are having some install errors, just choose a different server. From here, you want to go down and click standard install. Choose yes install. And as you can see, it's going to start to download and then install uh, the Durex build onto your Fire tablet. So just give this five to 10 minutes or so, let it download, let it complete, and uh, we will come back. And once it completes, it will ask you to force close Cody. So just go ahead, click force close, and this will bring you back to the, the Fire tablet's home screen. And at this point, what we can do is relaunch Cody. Now, when you launch Kodi for the first time with this new build, what you want to do is just be patient. Don't touch anything. Just give it five to 10 minutes or so. Let it update all the add-ons. What you're looking for is all the notifications on the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you see all those notifications disappear and stop happening, then you can move on to actually using this build. So I'm not going to go over how to use Cody, but this is a, a pretty basic build. It has everything that you would expect it to have. You'll be able to watch movies and TV shows. But that's basically all you have to do to install Cody onto the Fire tablet. All right, so hopefully this video has helped you install Cody onto your Fire tablet. That's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.